Hey everyone, I'm here with my brother Stephen today. Uh -huh. The reason I wanted Steve here is not because he is often requested on these videos, but also because some of the blogs that he has written for our site, howtogettheguide.com, have done extraordinarily well, haven't they? They've been a smash. He wrote about a concept on the blog that did really, really well and resonated with people. And it was about one of the biggest mistakes that women make when they flirt on a date, or at least I guess when they're trying. Yeah. To flirt. And I, let's to be fair, I think men do this equally. So this isn't a woman thing, uh, it's an everyone oh, thing. I think this is a people thing. What I've noticed it, that happens on a date sometimes is that we're always trying to impress someone. And usually someone says, oh, I went to China last year. And what they're really saying is, I did something that's quite cool. And they want to talk about it. But then what the other person will do is they'll go, oh, I've been to China as well. Mm. I went to Shanghai. Mm. Oh, I, did, you, did you go to this spot? And they'll go, oh no. Oh, you, know, you should go there next time. Yeah. And it's kind of what, oh, I, it's what I call, it's, horrible. it's like story trumping. That's what I think Well, they don't is. just do it about themselves. They'll say, if, even if it's not themselves that can have that claim to fame, they'll say, oh, my friend lived there for 10 years. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So they'll go, yeah. I lived there for three months. My friend lived there for 10 years. Yeah. As you say, what it becomes is just two people trying to impress each other and not realizing that one of the ways to impress each other, which you have mentioned and, and termed, is being impressible. Yeah, yeah. And you know what, it's not, I feel like it's not always just an attempt to be competitive. I think actually in a, in a strange way, it's someone's desire to connect. Yeah, exactly. Like someone exactly. actually thinks that they're connecting when they say, oh, you know something about that? Here's everything. I know yeah, about that. Yeah, they don't always think they're trying to win. They're sometimes trying to actually, they go, oh yeah. great, now I can yeah. deliver this. But it's like, they kind of don't know. It's like, like me, like me, like me, like yeah, me, right? Yeah. And it, it, it's a shame because the greatest way for them to connect right now would be to show that they have acknowledged and enjoyed yeah. something that that person has said. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think in a strange way, it's coming from a good place a lot of the time. And if you yeah. said to someone, what you're saying here is actually taking something away from someone. It actually is, is ro robbing them of a yeah. great feeling. Yeah, yeah. They would feel sad about that yeah. uh, because they would want to give someone that feeling, but we don't even realize we're doing it. Now, here's my question, because I think someone will be, there, there'll be people listening to this and saying, okay, fair enough, right? This woman goes on a date and she listens intently and is excited and shows that she thinks it's wonderful and asks more questions instead of jumping in with everything she knows immediately. But what if she says, okay, I did that, but he just kept talking. And at no point did he actually ask me a question. It was all about him. Yeah, I think what you do, like let them have their moment, then offer something yourself and see how they respond. Okay. So it's like a test. You then see, do they actually show interest? Yeah, I agree with that. So don't fall into the trap of uh, simply asking question after question and never contributing information. Like give them the acknowledgement, compliment, interest, and then, let, and then you follow up. Acknowledgement, compliment, interest, which can come in the form of asking another question about it. Yeah and then contribute what you can contribute to the subject. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think that was great. Nice little video. That was a good one. You tell me. If you're enjoying this stuff, by the way, we literally set out, didn't we, to do an entire program on this because we know people like these very specific actionable steps. Yeah. And we created 59, it was 59, wasn't it? 59. 59 different scripts that you can use with a guy that make you a great date, a great partner, uh, a great flirter, a great conversationalist. And it's by far been our most successful program ever yeah. uh, because people love being given specific things they can actually say and do with a guy. So if you enjoy this kind of content, you'll love that. If you already have it, no worries. We will see you in next Sunday's video. We maybe, we'll come, we'll see if you want Steve back. Let us know. Would you like Steve back again? What would That's you like him? You. And what would you like him to talk about? Um, thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. you, Steve. Thank you. I'm producing you. you right now. Appreciate your direction, not necessary. Straight in, straight into content. Well, it's got to be a thick meat sandwich of content. Straight in. Jameson, Steve's out. Well, I had a good run. <laughs> <laughs>